and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my laundry room the third stop on the spring cleaning house journey so the laundry room mm, it is pretty much like a mudroom for me it's right off of my garage and it is also where the cats keep one of their litter boxes and it's tucked away in a corner where no one sees so that just gives me an excuse to leave it pretty dirty most of the time and doing all of my before checks of the space I realized that this room actually needs to be deep cleaned and organized way way more than I thought it did so yay <laughs> I'm a little bit embarrassed quite frankly of how bad I let this space get and how dirty I have let everything become including especially including my washing machine but you know what the dirtier it is the better the transformation and the better it's gonna feel once it's done because it's going to be a change you can literally see <laughs> there are going to be no questions about whether this room was cleaned or not <laughs> after we get done with this but anyway I'm gonna stop yapping because this is all pointless information and y'all aren't here to listen to me talk you're here to watch me clean so with all that being said Let's start this much, much needed cleaning task. When your heart is raised and raising at the speed of light, and you feel like you got nowhere else to go, no, I hold you till the sun comes in the morning light. Yeah, I'll keep you safe, I'll never let you go.
Okay, so while the floor is drying, I just finished mopping it, mopping it, so while it's finished drying, I'm gonna get all the stuff that goes into the cabinets organized. One of the cabinets um, that I took stuff out of, the one that had like all of the cat stuff, the candles, things like that, I am going to be leaving that cabinet empty because here, hopefully, in the next month or two, I'm going to be getting a huge locker to store some other important things. So um, that cabinet is going to be completely taken out of the wall. So um, I'm going to just try and find a way to organize everything that was in there in other spaces of the house, um, mainly just the cat stuff. I already kind of have a spot for everything else, so mainly just going to focus on that. Um, and yeah, then just organize all the laundry stuff here. So, of course, have bins here that I picked up from Walmart on the same time that I picked up the stuff for the bathroom, so I am all ready to organize and I am very excited for this, so let's get going. You're like a jukebox, baby, different song every day. I'm spending all my money just so I can hit play. And every song I sing along, you're like a jukebox, baby. And I like it that way. You're the type I'd walk the line with, take my time with, fantasize with, see you now and see you later. Supersonic, so iconic, fashion sense might break the wall It got me on my worst behavior Screw what my mama says, I don't care if she thinks that I'm a little bit messed up I'll bite the bullet for a little bit Just cause I like the way that you drive Ignoring all the red lights You're like a jukebox, baby, different song every day Before I actually start bringing stuff back into the laundry room here and putting it into the cabinet, I'm going to be putting down some contact paper because, um, I'll just show you, the bottom of this cabinet, bottom shelf here, definitely has seen some better days. So I thought it would look better to put down some contact paper or something to really kind of help make the organization aspect of it just pop a little bit more and for it to look a little bit cleaner because it's not dirty. Like I wiped it out, it's just a wreck. And <laughs> what are you doing? Bye, Green Jean. Anyway, this is just some contact paper that I have lying around that I've used for um, underneath my kitchen sink, which had the same problem as this cabinet did. Everything was pretty much done. However, 
The longer I stared at this cabinet, the more and more I disliked it. So, we're going to try and do something a little bit different. I'm going to take these cereal um, containers and I'm going to put some of the cat's stuff that I use like for their litter box and things inside these containers because I think it's just going to look better. Like, like, everything is contained, you know, and it's all together in categor categories and things like that, but I just, I really just don't like the way that this looks. So we're going to play around with it, see if I can figure something else out, and then hopefully be done with the organizing part. And then all I have left is just to clean the washer and dryer. So let's go. When your heart is raised, you're raising at the speed of light And you feel like you got nowhere else to go No, I hold you till the sun comes in the morning light Yeah, I'll keep you safe, I'll never let you go Okay, so the laundry room is almost done. Right now I'm working on getting through all of the laundry. Of course, love that. And then after all the laundry is done running through, it'll be time to do a nice deep clean of the washer and dryer. So not looking forward to that. I haven't actually deep cleaned the washing machine since I moved in like three, four years ago. I've never deep cleaned a washing machine before. So this will be fun, a fun learning experience for me. And hopefully my washing machine turns out looking pristine because right now I'm not entirely sure if or how my clothes are getting clean because it's so dirty in there. So I have to act with life. Um, but while I'm waiting for all of my normal clothes to get done, I also am going to do some stain treatments because almost all of the clothes that were hanging up on the drying rack when I first started this process were hanging there because they had some kind of a stain that I needed to get out and was just putting off to the side. And so I don't want to move forward with the next room until I get everything cleaned and done and all of these projects finished. So I am the clothes here. Most of the stains that are on these clothes are the good old laundry detergent stains that I have tried time and time again to get out. However, I was given another idea of using hydrogen peroxide to try and get them out so we'll see i'm skeptical that even that will work just because i have dried all of these clothes like i didn't know they had the detergent stains in them and i dried them so i'm pretty sure that the stains have been set but we'll see hopefully we can get some out and if not then i guess we'll be donating more clothes because honestly I don't need any more clothes so maybe it'll work out in the long run but I'm gonna stop yapping and get to get to do this. I'm not looking forward to it at all but oh well. <laughs> When your heart is raised to raise, I just need a light.
and that is going to do it for my laundry room deep clean and organization. This room definitely took a lot longer to clean and organize than I was anticipating and I'm really glad that I made it its own separate video um, because it was definitely quite the project. If you enjoyed watching, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you are not already subscribed, go on down and hit that little red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming spring cleaning videos. I still have a lot of rooms left in the house to do, so you're not going to want to miss out on that, so hit this red subscribe button down below, and yeah, I mean, guys, this transformation of this room was just absolutely insane and I cannot wait to see all of the other transformations that I have coming up for the rest of the house. It just it feels so much better just having you know a f few rooms in the house all organized and cleaned and everything and I just I can't wait until the whole house is done so I hope you're excited for that and yeah but I think that that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you are having a wonderful wonderful day, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!